UC San Diego Health launched coronavirus blood testing this week to identify past exposure. These new tests look for antibodies produced in response to the infection, and the test is by doctor referral only. News 8's Heather Hope shows us how it works. Yes, we're getting an inside look at the UC San Diego Center for Advanced Laboratory Medicine. This is not a walk-up testing site. Here at their laboratory is where a team of trained scientists are able to take those blood samples and then analyze them to see if they test positive or negative for coronavirus. For the antibodies test, here Dr. Melissa Hoffman is ready to test a patient's blood serum. We're measuring SARS-CoV-2, IgG, and IgM antibodies. by testing this tray with the sample securely inside the diazine machine. And this is only the beginning. Now we're going to pro program the sample and begin testing. Running the test components inside this computer for further analysis. This one has a scheduled status showing the patients and reagents. All this is being done inside a clinical lab at UC San Diego's Center for Advanced Laboratory Medicine. The UCSD is one of the first hospitals to have this test, but other, other hospital labs are, are not far behind us. Dr. Rob Fitzgerald says these tests require a blood draw, which you can get done with your physician or from a phlebotomist. Well, it's, a, it's a serology test and an important difference between this test and what we've been using to diagnose disease is that this test tells you you were exposed in the past. Dr. Fitzgerald says the lab takes in about 40 samples each day, only operating five days a week. This Diazyme DZ Light 300 Plus moves swiftly like a Singer sewing machine, but this one picks up the blood sample, adds a chemical to it, and then continues the test from there. This chart shows IgG, or immunoglobulin, a type of antibody. And that's one of the, your body's responses to the virus, is it makes antibodies that binds to the virus. Fitzgerald says these antibodies are low in the beginning, and then within four to five days, the immunoglobulins become elevated. He says if you're concerned about an active infection, call your doctor for a swab test. That's a PCR, or polymerase chain reaction, which we see through drive-through testing. And we really don't want people who are acutely ill coming into the phlebotomy station. This antibodies test requires a physician referral. As for the future... Many people think that the virus will recur um, after this initial pandemic. Testing here has been going on since Tuesday.